How are you guys and welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be making some shrimp po' boys. So to get started we're going to make a sauce for them and this is pretty much a rumulad sauce. I'm just, I hope I'm saying this right. I'm not from Louisiana so I might be saying this wrong. Rumulad or rumulad or however you say it. <laughs> this is kind of like that. It's just missing a couple of ingredients to be an authentic one. I had to go with what I had in my fridge, so we're going to go with that. So we're going to get some mayo, a couple of globs in there, and probably make quite a bit of it. Okay, some mayo, close that back up, and I'm going to use some stone ground mustard, but traditionally you could use Creole mustard, but this will work. Let's put a squirt of that in there. And some ketchup. And then normally use some fresh chopped garlic, but I'm going to use some garlic pepper, which will work just fine also. And then some Creole seasoning. I got Tony Sacherets. Definitely need some of that. And some paprika. Use sweet paprika. That'll work better. But I got this, so that's what I'm going with. And some lemon juice. Fresh squeezed. And just stir it up. And you know you can adjust it to fit your taste. If you want a little bit more of this or a little bit more of that, then go for it. Looking at it, I know I'm going to need some more paprika and probably a little more ketchup. I want this to be more of a pink. Oh, you know I forgot something. So <laughs> it's right here in my face too. Hot sauce. <laughs> you need some hot sauce in there. And a little spicy. Give it a little taste. That's good. But well, I'm gonna put some more garlic in there. Add some more Creole seasoning. Oh, also to make it authentic, you're gonna need some horseradish. Well, I'm not a big fan of horseradish, so I went ahead and left that out. But go ahead and add it to yours if you want a more spicy kick. Horseradish is a little strong for me. Now you got a cold. You know, it'll clear that nose right up. You eat some horseradish. So give it a try. <laughs> it'll taste it. Mm. It's pretty good. More hot sauce. If you don't want it spicy, don't add it. I think that'll be good. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and let this chill in the fridge. So all the flavors can meld together better. You know, if you have time, you know, do this the day before, it'll taste even better. But this is my almost from your lad. <laughs> all right, we're gonna move on to the next. All right. Okay, I'm back, and I'm gonna. I just got done cleaning my shrimp. I got a little over a pound of shrimp. So I had to um, peel and devein them and split the back, as you can see. Okay, a little over a pound, then I got a couple of ounces of oysters that I figured I'd just go ahead and throw in also. Okay, and we're gonna season them with some Tony Sacherets, of course. Season it quite liberally. And some garlic pepper. 
and that's pretty much all you need. Look at that quick mix. You know, you don't need a whole lot of seasoning because we're going to season the flour also. You don't need a whole lot of different things. The Creole seasoning has plenty of different herbs and spices in it. Matter of fact, I got the, the spices and herb version of it. There you go. We got plenty of that inside, so you don't have to over season it with a whole bunch of different things. Okay. And then, I'm going to crack in two eggs. Organic cage free eggs. <laughs> Plain eggs are fine. Let's crack in two of them bad boys. And some buttermilk. Full fat buttermilk. Pour it on. And give it another mix. Break down the yolks. And we're going to leave this to sit for 10 minutes, it's fine. You got a little longer, go a little longer. I'll leave this to sit for 10 minutes and I'm going to go ahead and get the oil and the flour ready. And we're going to fry these bad boys up and get our sandwich together. Alright, 10 minutes, I'll see you guys. Okay you guys, I got me some all purpose flour. Pour some in. A little bag, pour about half of it in there, and I'm sprinkling some Tony Sachets again. I'm do this liberally because this is a lot of flour. Some garlic pepper. And that's all you need. You want to add some, um, what's that junk called? Old Bay. That'll go good in this also. Or whatever seasoning you like, it's all fine, it's all good. I'm just keeping it simple. So if you want to add some exotic things or whatever you like to use or whatever you have on hand, anything is good. Absolutely anything. And don't judge me, y'all know how I love to use a bag. <laughs> you want to use a bowl or a plate, you go ahead and do that too. But all you're going to do is dump the shrimp in, dredge it. Go and fry it up. And that is it. So, still got about a few more minutes before the shrimp is ready to be dumped. So, <sighs> we'll get to it when we get to it. Okay, you guys, I'm ready to fry. I got some corn oil on the stove. Getting all warmed up. I'm guessing you can hear it. Okay, um, got my shrimp right here and flour, and I got a plate. We're just gonna set it on after we dredge it. So take it out and drop it in the flour. With a quick toss, coat it. Okay. Some more, along with the oysters, of course. I'm gonna fry these oysters too. And after it's dredged, take it out and just put it on the plate. Let it dry up a little bit so that flour can adhere. That's pretty much it, you guys. That's it. So we're going to get ready to throw these in the fryer. Let it sit for a second while I get the rest of them. I'll get the rest of them ready. And I'll meet you guys at the fryer. There we go. Alright you guys. Got my shrimp right there. Got my oil heated up. So let's go ahead and drop it in. 
and I got it at a medium high heat. I want this to herb them brown before I get a chance to overcook. And it'll cook pretty fast because the shrimp. So just keep an eye on it after you drop it in. Get it a minute or two until it gets golden brown, and then we'll take it out of oil. Alright, you guys. It's been about two minutes. That's my shrimp right there. Nice color to it. So I'm going to put it in this strainer that I line with paper towels. Let it drain. Sorry, try to hold the camera still <laughs> and do this. You know, it's hard to do everything in one hand. That's the oyster right here. Cooked up nicely. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and finish up the rest of this and I'll be back with you guys to plate. All right, you guys, I still got some shrimp cooking, but I'm gonna go ahead and assemble the sandwich for you. Here I got me a Vietnamese roll, which is exactly like a French roll. This is what the traditional bread to use for a po' boy. Um, I got a bakery down the road from my house that make these fresh, so I was able to get a fresh roll, that's why I went with this. But definitely you can go with a French baguette. That works best also. Well, that's the traditional. But these rolls are exactly like baguettes, so that's why I went with it. And if you want to toast it, go ahead and do that. But I find when you toast these, it gets a little too crispy. Same way with a baguette. So I just leave it untoasted. But feel free to toast it if you want to. Split her open. Oh. <laughs> I should have said it like that. Uh, Alright. So we're going to put some of that rumelade sauce that we made earlier. Put on both sides. Try not to break this. Alrighty. Then we're going to put some sliced tomatoes I think two would be good probably break them in half cut them in half ok that's good some shredded lettuce you can use romaine if you want go for it Buy a little more Shrimp. All right, I'll try to close this sucker up some. But you guys, that is pretty much it. Got our room, your lad, tomatoes and lettuce, and then a shrimp sitting on top. Yeah, that's pretty much it, you guys. So. I'm glad you watched the video. Hope you enjoy it. And hopefully you'll make this soon. And that's my shrimp po' boy. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And I thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye.